Understanding API endpoints, getting data from the web easily with Python APIs or application programming interfaces are a vital part of modern web development and data interaction. They allow different software applications to communicate with each other, making it easier to access, send, and manipulate data across various platforms. When working with APIs, the concept of an API endpoint is crucial. This tutorial will help you understand what API endpoints are and how to use them to get data from the web effortlessly with Python. What is an API endpoint? An API endpoint is a specific URL or path within an API that allows you to access a particular resource or perform a specific action. Think of it as the doorway to the data or functionality you want to use. For example, if you're working with a weather API, one endpoint might provide the current weather for a specific city, while another might give you the forecast for the next seven days. Endpoints are typically structured with a base URL, which points to the API, and a path that specifies the resource or actionable. For example, example.com slash weather slash current. Here, at slash api.example.com is the base URL, and slash weather slash current is the endpoint path that provides the current weather data. HTTP methods and API endpoints. API endpoints are usually accessed using different HTTP methods, which indicate the type of action you want to perform. Get, retrieve data from the API. Post, send data to the API, often used for creating new resources. Put, update an existing resource. Delete, remove a resource. In most cases, when you're getting data from an API, you'll be using the get method. This method allows you to request information from a specified endpoint without altering the server's data. Accessing API endpoints with Python. Python is a powerful tool for interacting with APIs due to its simplicity and extensive library support. The process typically involves sending a request to an API endpoint and then handling the response, which is often in JSON format. Here's a simplified outline of how this process works. One, find the API documentation. Before you can interact with an API, you need to understand its structure, endpoints, and required parameters. API documentation provides this information. Two, set up your request. Using Python's HTTP library, such as requests, you can send a request to the API endpoint. This request might include parameters, headers, or authentication tokens, depending on the API's requirements. Send the request and handle the response. Once you send the request, the API will respond with the requested data. This data is often returned in JSON format, which can easily be parsed and used in your application. Four, use the data. After parsing the response, you can use the data in your application, whether it's displaying it to users, saving it to a database, or processing it further. Common API use cases. Here are a few common scenarios where API endpoints are used. Weather data, accessing current weather conditions, forecasts, or historical data for a specific location. Financial information, retrieving stock prices, cryptocurrency values, or economic indicators. Social media, fetching posts, likes, or user profiles from platforms like Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. E-commerce, getting product details, prices, or inventory levels from online stores. Conclusion, understanding API endpoints is key to effectively interacting with web-based services and data. With Python, accessing these endpoints and retrieving data becomes a straightforward task. Opening up a world